not a great weather night, but you guys persevered and kept battling there. Well, you knew they play on turf and they play in some bad weather and we practice in this all the time. So you knew we'd have no advantage over them because of the weather, uh, even though that probably was the worst weather game of the year for us. Um, but, you know, I was just pleased that our kids didn't panic and uh, to put up a big crooked number against a, a good pitching staff uh, it just shows you the, the type of hitters we have and the, the, the maturity they have where, you know, they were able to string together a, a big inning. What does undefeated midweek games on a, on a season mean to a coach? Man, I don't – that's unheard of. I mean, I, it's just – it's not something you ever talk about. I don't know if you expect it. Midweek baseball is as challenging as it is. Uh, usually it's younger arms on the mound. Um, guys are coming out of class. Uh, sometimes you're on a bus for two or three hours and you're you're pulling up to a stadium and, and hustling the play. I mean, it's just there's so much parity in college baseball. Um, I really tip my hat to this group. It obviously started with, with Cade McClure on the mound and how consistent he was. But but, you know, you got to make plays and you got to score runs against good teams. I mean, we SEC teams, Big Ten teams, um, you know, other good opponents. So, I mean. Uh, it's a great accomplishment. I mean, I'm, I'm something that's, that's pretty neat. For for Cade to work through that, the stuff that he had to work through, especially in, I think, the fourth when he when he was still going good until he gave up the couple runs, but pretty good stuff tonight. Yeah, he was really good. Um, you know, tip your hat, they got a two-out rally. And, you know, at the end of the day, you, you give up a double to their best hitter, you know, and that's it's, it was unfortunate for us that their best hitter came came to the plate. Uh, with two outs and two runners on, and, and Cade hung a slider, um, you know. So uh, fortunately, he got right back in there and, and got out of that inning and put up a zero, and you know allowed us to settle in and, and put together that inning offensively. And hey, what do you think about finishing the season? Well, I mean, you still probably come back here for some games, but uh, thirty-three and, and one uh, in the regular season at home. Oh man, we've we've always been good at Jim Patterson Stadium, um, but again, you know, this has been a, a special special season. Uh, taking advantage of, of the fans, the uh, the familiarity, you know, with the ballpark, um, and and you know, putting together some late rallies and, and a couple walk off wins um, as well. So uh, again, you know, great accomplishment. Very very happy for the kids. Does that give you guys a lot of confidence, knowing that you may just have to win, you know, as you've done before, win games here to to get to home. Yeah, the the home team has the advantage and the regionals are super regionals, but it's never 100%. You know, there's always a, a few road teams that'll come out of a regional or come out of a super regional. So uh, we won't get overconfident by any means. We've we got a lot of respect for the game and for our opponents. And when it's all said and done, you know, we'll, we'll just worry about the first team we get to play in the postseason and just just take it one game at a time how much does if any does Cade's mindset have to change now with no more midweeks do you do you guys have will you have a plan before next week or or, or kind of you know we we don't we don't know when yet we'll play in the acc tournament but it's something coach williams and i we've already discussed uh you know last year we started sean leland the first game of the tournament Cade could start the first game of the acc tournament but we don't know when our bye is yet and we don't know how it'll match up, and we don't know what's going to happen this weekend. You know, with rain at Wake Forest, and will we get all three games in? So the the good feeling is we've got the fourth starter, and whether he starts game one or, or game four of the ACC tournament, we don't need to make that decision yet. But I've been saying it now, probably halfway through the season, that there's a good chance he'll pitch a game in the ACC tournament, and he could have to pitch a game in a regional. So it's good that we have a guy. Uh, that's been that consistent, that talented, and, and that successful all year. Dan, first win over IU since 2012. Just how nice is it to finally get one over them? You know, I, I don't – lots of times I don't even know about those streaks because uh, you live, you know, week to week and season to season. So I don't – it's not like you try to play harder. But um, I think we had a really good run over them for four or five years. And then they had a really talented group, and they, and they put together a run over us. And, um, you know, but, you know, but now that – their coaching staff is, is part of our program. You know, it's it's always going to be, I think, a, a challenging game. And um, at least the last two years, the home team has, has had the advantage. Can you talk about this weekend? You don't have but a day rest and Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Just talk about the, the mindset of going in this weekend and, and still having a lot to play for in, in the standings and everything else. I always say the kids want to play the game. 
you know, as much as I love practice and, and not that they don't enjoy practice, but I don't think they necessarily enjoy it as much as I do. They want to play. So uh, we'll travel on Wednesday, maybe get a light practice in at Wake Forest, and then they're going to look forward to playing Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So uh, we're playing good. We've played better on the road the last few weeks. And, you know, but as I've learned, everybody's playing for something this last weekend. They might not be playing for exactly what you're playing for, but everybody's playing for something. And uh, you know, Wake Forest is a very good team, very good offense. Uh, and like, like a lot of people in the ACC, everybody's played well at home. So, you know, we'll, we'll have our work cut out for us. What are you most impressed with to your season, your team to this point in the season? Consistency, you know, just be, be professional and show up every day and not get too high and not get too low. And, um, within each game and, and within each week. I just think uh, this group's been as consistent as we've ever had here. Sweet. Thank you.